This video is brought to you by REP Gaming Products. Help protect your deck and support the show by picking up a steel deck box from the link down below. Hello everyone and welcome to Commander Clash. It's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and I'm filling in as the avatar of Tomer this week. Tomer uh, couldn't make it at the last minute, but it worked out and we are playing some competitive EDH, CEDH this week. So today's game going to be a little different than our normal games, a little bit more high powered. We do not have our house ban list or soft ban list, so you're going to see soul rings and other cards you don't see in a normal episode there's no rules about the costs of the cards so you're gonna see uh, cards that are pretty expensive in paper original dual lands and stuff and the idea is basically to bash together some of the most highest power decks in commander and hopefully kill people pretty quickly it's gonna be an interesting game so filling in for tomer this week we have krim how's it going krim hey what's up seth how's everyone doing uh uh, good, good to have you. Thanks for jumping in at the very last minute. So, Krim, uh, I know you were frantically uh, reading a primer about your deck because you literally picked it up like 10 minutes ago. Why don't you tell us what you learned in that primer and what you're playing this week? Uh, I learned that I'm a stacks deck. <laughs> and I am playing Mono Blue Teferi. So I get to use my commander, Teferi Temporal Archmage. And I'm going to try to win with uh, the Chain Veil for, <laughs> to, to pretty much go infinite with that. And I guess take a... like that, That's so far what I, I, I'm reading as we, we also do this. So <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to so, counter a lot of things and try to go infinite. <laughs> so stacks, counters, yeah. infinite combos. Sounds like a good plan. And there, Teferi's there, pretty sweet. There's no S at the end of combos there. <laughs> <laughs> There's only one combo. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, good luck. I'll be interested to see how it works. I'll need uh, it. <laughs> <laughs> Richard, uh, what are you playing this week for CEDH? All right. I, I don't know how good my deck actually is. I might be that guy that shows up at the table and gets destroyed, but I'm playing Najila. And this is a deck by Pongo Pygmaeus or Pigmao5. I don't know. And it's actually a collaboration from the Najila Discord server. There's an entire Discord server apparently dedicated to Najila, and it's a, it's a creature-based combo deck. We've seen Najila in action before, but basically uh, Najila and a bunch of cards that give you mana when you attack or when you tap things uh, lets you go infinite because she makes more warriors, and then they make more mana, and you just get infinite combats. Uh, the three main cards to look out for Druid's Repository, Nature's Will, and Derevi. Uh, so I'll give away the secret sauce of the deck, but usually you just slap that down and win. And if someone deals with it, you don't win. So there, there's, no, there, there's not too much going on there. So those are the combo pieces. And then the rest of the deck are, are ways to ramp, are ways to get around stacks pieces, to uh, disrupt other people, and uh, win. Because Najila, I think can win the game on her own without a combo. If you're just sitting there going to town attacking, uh, you can just grind people out with the mid-range plan. So that's what's going to happen. So even if all the combo pieces go away, she still has ways to actually chip through and win. Oh, this would be interesting because we've seen Najila before and we've seen Najila be really good. And that was apparently not like the CEDH version of Najila. So if that was like the nice version of Najila, I'm pretty scared at what the competitive version is actually going to be like and how fast it'll be. So should be a fun one. Uh, and we also have returning. We've missed you, Vince. Uh, Vince is back. How's it going today, Vince? Hello, Seth. I am back. I've been told that Tome is not here, so I'm allowed back on. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> not really. I've been off soul searching, you see. Kind of like after Batman's parents were killed, he, he traveled the world learning all sorts of kung fu and stuff. <laughs> I'm back. And I'm playing um, $6,400 group hug. Whew. Whoa. Group hug? Well, it's Nekasar, so it's kind of like. <laughs> oh, 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 I was excited for a minute. Now I'm less excited. <laughs> Temple Bell, Howling Mind, Front of Mythos, Spiteful Visions. It's, 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 it's group hug. It's group hug. Well, I do like drawing cards, so uh, thanks, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I can't really tell you much more about it. I've decided when I come back from my soul searching now is to surprise people. But in all fairness, when I say competitive Nukasa, you can't. Yeah, there's no surprise here. We all know what's coming. <laughs> <laughs> You wait until I'm randomly just showing telling like Eldrazi or something. I'm like, whoopsie. 
No, it's 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 Necrosa. It's 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 not that different. For people at home who don't know, I'm gonna I'm gonna cast some wheels probably. People are gonna draw lots of cards. Hopefully, it will shoot them a lot. Yeah, that's that's my that's my jam. Group hug. Sounds fun. Uh, I'll be excited to see it. And this is Seth, probably better known as Seth Friend Olive. And initially, I was gonna play Food Chain Prosh, which. Uh, I don't know much about competitive EDH, but I've always heard Prosh was like the way to go with Food Chain, and then I tweeted about it, and everyone said, no, you don't actually want to play Prosh, that's like outdated, that used to be the way to play Food Chain. What you actually want to be doing with Food Chain is playing General Tazri, the ally five color commander. So I'm playing General Tazri Food Chain, and uh, the basic idea of this deck is also a combo deck. I think we're all like kind of comboing to some extent, but uh, if you get out of Food Chain, along with something like a Squee the Immortal, Eternal Scourge, uh, Mist Hollow Griffin, a creature that you can keep casting from Exile. You can make infinite mana for creatures, and then infinite mana for creatures means we get to cast our General, uh, General Tezri, an infinite number of times, which then tutors up some sweet allies, which hopefully allows us to win the game. So basically, Food Chain plus one of those cast from Exile creatures, and in theory, if no one can stop me, I should be able to go infinite and win the game uh, by looping my commander and tutoring up various allies. So uh, it should be fun. Hopefully, we'll see. I have not played this deck at all. We're all playing combo decks, and I don't know if any of us have uh, really played their combos very much before. So it should be interesting uh, to watch us muddle through and try to figure out these combo decks. So anyway, uh, let's get to the games. Oh, I won the die roll. Oh, man. Can I win on turn one? Let's get a look at this hand. That's not comfortable. Wait, can your deck actually win on turn one? Uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, my primer says I could win on turn two with the nuts. <laughs> my primer. <laughs> uh, I did not. I did not outline this specific. Richard has a co-pilot this week. It's if Richard plus his primer. I, I, sh I should have. I should have logged in into Gina. the Discord here and just asked all these people. Hey, <laughs> tune into my stream. Help me out. Uh, so I have one land, but I think that's fine for this type of deck. What? what? To win what? on turn one? Well, no, I'm not. I'm not really gonna win on turn one. Uh, I mean, you would have kept a one lander anyway. That's what, it's your favorite thing, isn't it? I kind of have two. Lands I have a three lander. Does that way. mean I'm flooding out? I don't know. I'll keep. <laughs> I've got such a powerful hand. Oh man. I'm not keeping my one lander though. That that'll that's something that'll do. Uh, all right, so let's fetch land. Crack fetch land. Is it turn one solving? Oh, I wish. Oh, that would make me so happy, but it's not. And we will take... Huh. There's no... Are you missing lands? <laughs> Are you trying to fetch oh, a no, dual land that's not songs. in your list? <laughs> uh, Are you missing specific original duels? Yeah. Oh, wait. No, it's a Bloodstained Mire. That's why. <laughs> I was... Tr I, want I wanted to... Off to a great I start. To I wanted to Welcome to competitive <laughs> EDH, where we don't even know what the fetch lands do. I wanted a breeding pool, but I can't get a breeding pool from... From a fetch land, that's a bloodstain. Well, why would you not get a um, a tropical island instead? Or, yeah, tropical island. One, either one. Come on, get on our level. <laughs> I'm not used to playing the original duels, Vince. Cut me some slack. <laughs> uh, this is like Legacy. You'll like I know which land I'm playing. One second. <laughs> I gotta see my colors. I I made it easy for myself. I only have to get an island. <laughs> <laughs> Losing down to thirty-eight. Oh, what? Okay. Mm. So powerful, it's banned in Legacy, ladies and gentlemen. For those that don't know, at home. <laughs> banned everywhere at this point. Yeah, <laughs> well, no, he's playable in Vintage. Uh, you remember when oh, he was spoiled? It was not even like a spoiler card. It was just like shoehorned in, wasn't it? Like yeah, it was on the last, the last day of day. spoilers where well, they just it, dumped it, it, the last it rares. It just wasn't good in standard at all. Either. Yeah, it was. It was like, terrible I'm, in standard. Like, I remember I had one in my, like, Abzan reanimator list for the mirror, in, and then eventually I cut it for, like, an Avacyn's Pilgrim. Just, <laughs> there's no fetch lands in standard, so it just, just didn't do much. Uh, yeah, oh, so good in well, modern, though. Man, I wish I had a I'm soul ring or something. I'm so tired of turn two Lilianas. Yeah, yeah, that it broke Jun for a bit. Well, I only had one land, but I do have Noxious Revival to get back my one land. <laughs> what? what? I don't know that that's... <laughs> what that card is for. I don't think that's what I'm <laughs> supposed to be doing with this card, but <laughs> we'll take it. Bloodstained Mire. In Broken. Case you, yep. Do it again. Are you missing 
the dual lands to fetch again. Sort of. Um, but you needed blue before, so now you just get... Yeah, there you go. Easy game, easy life, right? I actually... <laughs> so I probably should not have cracked that fetch land because now Richard can use it for mana. Whoa. Whoa. Just revive <laughs> Attacking to my overpowered elf. <laughs> Are you, yeah. Right off yeah. the bat, you're going to hit me, Seth? Yeah, you should have cracked that fetch land like after Richard's turn. Yes, yes, I should have. That was a that was w a misplay. Welcome to competitive EDH. Oh, <laughs> uh, yup. Oops. I need to play more Legacy, so I think about those things. I haven't played Legacy in so long, and this is hurting my brain. There's like so <laughs> many. There's so many options here. I hadn't seen Deathrite in a minute, so I probably wouldn't have even known that that I could get it from his graveyard. <laughs> All right, all right. I want to, I want to ponder. Oh, uh, that's acceptable. So good, it's banded modern, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but yet, ancient stirrings exist. It's fine. <laughs> Super ponder. Well, you can't shuffle off the of stirrings, I guess, right? Wait, what? Oh yeah, what, you're what right. What happened to the card? <laughs> totally makes it better. You put all three back, and then you draw one. <laughs> where, where, but where did the other card go, though? Yeah, oh, you, oh, like, oh, you put it back on your oh, library. Oh, I, I, man. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. That was not what was supposed to happen. Did you click it to put it in your hand or something? I, I was going to right click yeah, it. That's the intuitive thing to do. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're just going to shuffle now. Wow. <laughs> that, that did not go as planned, guys, but we're okay. This was going to happen. We might, need a, we might need a second game just to like um, show the people at home that we're not all completely competent. <laughs> I'm sure they're used to it by now. On the uh, on the topic of ancient stirrings, I lost a game modern yesterday to a Tron player that kept a one lander. Um, <laughs> I was playing Jund, and they natural Tron on turn four. Oh. Well, I think natural plus you know ancient ancient stirrings found it all for them. Oh, but it was, oh wow, 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 wow! Yeah, well, okay. Najila Tron is online. Yeah, it's a little a little scary, Richard. If, yes. If only Deathrite Shaman was a warrior. Yeah. Ooh, where's my strip wow. mine? Does this deck play strip mine? Uh, mine doesn't. Uh, I was very disappointed. I almost threw one in. I feel considerably behind now. All right, <laughs> I'm done. It you only took I like both. eight years to finish my turn. <laughs> <laughs> Richard, time's out on turn two. <laughs> we already botched a ponder, like the simplest spell to resolve. <laughs> That's not true. Ponders are complicated. No, no, the now. mechanics of resolving it, not the choice. <laughs> Just the mechanics. Oh, okay, okay. It's like when you cast Ponder and then you brainstorm, and then you just you just get a game loss. It's like great. <laughs> <laughs> like oops. Well, I guess I just cast this and die. Wait, what, why would you die? Because <laughs> uh, how far behind I'm in mana compared to everyone else. I'm only a la uh, like one man ahead of you. Uh, I really want. Oh, that's true, but both me and you, Crim. Yeah, we're, we're kind of <laughs> we're a little behind. Maybe we just get lucky and. Richard eventually dies to the mana crypt. <laughs> Maybe. Like he, <laughs> wait, can Seth win? Seth has a lot of mana too. How many? How much I don't think I'm very close to winning. Need? Well, technically, with some creatures out, a food chain is always scary because if it gets to my commander, then I should be able to do some things. But I don't think I'm. I don't think I can win this turn, or I don't even know if I'm that close to winning. Really, I would like to draw land though. I too would like to draw land. I've heard that lands are good. Yeah, they're they're decent. Oh well, I've got, sorry guys, I'm just trying to figure out if there's actually like anything good to get here, or will I just get normal things? Get a slaughter pact, and then kill, <laughs> kill the Avacyn's Pilgrim, or or the <laughs> Ab Nijila. there's a Najila. Why <laughs> would you kill my? I, I'm fine with that. Get the slaughter pact because you attacked me. <laughs> <laughs> that was a land of war elf, actually. Don't make Avacyn's oh, oh, Pilgrim sorry. pay for the land of war elf attack. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, deck land. Oh my god. Uh, oh. I bet the people at home are probably looking at my tutor target then. They're just going to be like, what are you doing, Vince? I'm like, the answer is, guys, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Wait a minute. Why does Seth have all his mana oh, up? Look at <laughs> I don't like this. Mox, Mox Diamond that is like mocking me. That's the opposite. The exact it is, yes, the land. It's the very opposite Moxie of a land. You. What, what, hold on, hold on. I need to are, Google. Tazzy <laughs> food chain. Are you looking, are you looking up your combo, Richard? I, I want to see what kind of cards a Tazri deck plays. Okay. Outside assistance. Outside okay, assistance. Okay, okay. Judge. Game loss. 
Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no electronic oh. devices. <laughs> wow, that is a, a painful city of brass. That is. Wow, I didn't know that existed. What is that? <laughs> It also looks like a TV remote, like stuck in a pile of. So like, it's boom. the plan is real. Like Richard just loses if he taps the tarnished citadel in the mana crypt, uh, or it keeps hitting him. Then yeah, we win. Yeah, that that might actually work. This this man, I I feel like I've chosen the man of Utopia sprawl incorrectly here because this is a very convoluted way of doing what I want to do. But uh, I guess. Oh wow! So you've just drawn that. Is that picture. is that one of his combo pieces? It is a combo piece, but I don't have enough pieces. <laughs> you, gonna, you, you gonna counter it? I mean, it is literally one of his counter. Uh, do combo I just have pieces, to? So. Y y yes, 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 you do. Yes. I will help have us you read out. the card? I will help us out after. <sighs> well, at least slow down Richard's plan. <laughs> look how much money he's gonna make. <sighs> And look how much money he's already got! Yeah. All right, all turns right. Ahead of us. Combat. Yes! Oh, you waste. What, what yes. card did you pick? Miss Hallogriffin. Combo. It's a combo. Oh, wait. Oh, 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 oh wait. Oh. Wait a minute. No, he wants this. No, <laughs> oh, boy. Easy game. Easy game. That's why Chasmi's better, I guess, than Prosh, because you get to play Miss Hallogriffin alongside Squee and. Um, the other one. Uh, the eternal like, eternal up. scourge, Excellent. yeah. Uh, scourge, yeah. Eternal scourge. So, so fun fact, guys. The, the card I wanted to put on top of the ponder was an elemental blast. <laughs> I accidentally <laughs> put it on top first because I wow. thought I could click it to, uh, you know, choose to you know what order to put it in, but it just put it on top automatically. So I'm very sad. Well, I can't stop that. You have very few warriors for being a Nishila deck. He's about, he's about to make more warriors, though. It's because arcane adaptation's about to happen. No, I just meant like he has to have uh, more yeah, warriors. Yeah, that's right? true. Yeah. Where's that going? Uh, is it at me? Uh, it'll go against. Oh, what? <laughs> well, no, no, the Geo's going at Seth, the warrior's going at Vince. Look how far behind I am! <laughs> I have a mind stone, so leave me alone. <laughs> exactly, you're, I, you're I don't one know, ahead I saw, of me. I know, I know Krim is kind of far from combo, but he's going to back to basics at any moment, and I'm going to be so, so hurt, like right now. Yep. <laughs> wow. Don't. Interesting. Good thing I countered that Druid's repository. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. Yes, you did. Oh. And fetched out these super... Actually, my deck plays a single basic forest. That's my only basic, so... A lot of the competitive decks do, don't they? I mean, Richard's uh, not really even hurting, to be honest. He's, he's still got yeah, Mana he's... Crypt death right. I'm still gonna, I'm gonna die to this Mana Crypt. I mean, the game plan I'm is probably, happening. I, I think I might have got hurt the most. <laughs> <laughs> now you're down Something to one. Right. Well, at least I got another basic, okay? You Use that Rakdos <laughs> enchantment removal. Go for it. Guess I'll Ooh. die. Oh, oh, are we losing? Oh boy. Oh. Storm, storm combo. I wish, I wish you were losing. Um, <laughs> oh, 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 man! Oh. All the rituals. Ooh, well, that's a lot of mana. Oh, oh my god! You need a shatterstorm. Oh. Drawing, <laughs> drawing the dark, drawing the dark ritual was insanely good for me. Then I just just drew it, literally just drew it. Without that, I would just play the solving and pass. Uh, well, you're not so far behind anymore. Yes, which is nice. Oddly enough, I think you're ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully. Oh. Can someone like block Crim's lands to punish him? I mean, no. <laughs> this, <laughs> this, this, no, but this was a good draw for, with the back to basics out. Oh. oh especially with the uh, with the Teferi player. I reiterate: Can someone block Crim's lands? And the carpet flowers okay, get so to So now we <laughs> go second main phase. <laughs> ha! I'll never draw lands again. <laughs> so the joke's on you. <laughs> oh, Crim! Did you miss a land draw? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, wow. What a mess of a game this is. <laughs> we'll make some mana. Does that make, oh, it's put target player, isn't it? Target Hopefully I'm doing two. this correctly. So we'll make two black. And then, oh man. Uh, ad nauseum? Oh, boy. I, I, now, I, now do you uh, win? I, no, <laughs> I just want to draw some lands. I mean, he could win if he hits food. I could win in the turn, future right? if I draw the right pieces. Okay. I'm gonna let uh, I'm, and also the other thing is I could also just kill myself right here. Uh, go go lower, please, so I can overrun and kill you. You hit <laughs> like you hit like one. Go to one. You I hit a land, find a land. So there it. Uh, fetch, fetch shock, please. 
Wow, Silence. you voice is... Hmm. <laughs> oh, there's Lab Man. You need to go down to Warden Card and Library set. Come on. Oh, that would be so sweet, but I don't think it'll work. Uh, okay, now what are we? Now I gotta think about what we're doing here. I have to not die to more. Richard this turn. <laughs> you know, my deck doesn't play any basics. <laughs> oh wait, no, wait. There's a forest in there. Hold on, I could I could get out of this back to basics. Uh, oh, I just realized you added to the clock, Richard. Dark confidant. Yeah. The I'm actually gonna and that and that deck is gonna come down. I'm really just gonna uh, <laughs> die to greatness. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> At any cost, yeah. So, <laughs> so we'll we'll stop there. We'll play Mox Diamond. Play stuff? Jeez. Mox Diamond plus a land drop. Oh, we're no, gonna you're, die! You're very, very, very not dead. I think I'm more likely to be oh, dead good. than either of you. Wait, is that a watery grave in your graveyard? What? Yes. How did, or is how did, or is he just how did he get oh, I had to discard it to Mox Diamond. <laughs> oh, okay, nice. Thought my joke was good. <laughs> Down to 18. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Back to basics is brutal and competitive yes, with the H, it isn't it? it is. Am I dead? <laughs> I just feel like I'm going to die at some random point. There's some uneasy feeling. I think Seth is going to bite the dust very soon. Probably to, to Vince next turn. All right. Well, the po I don't think I can cast Nekosar and do much else. That's the problem. So I'll just cast him, ping everyone for two, and then die. How much? You're at 18, so... Don't kill me, Richard. <laughs> Richard, get it. <laughs> it's cutthroat week. <laughs> There's blood in the it's water. true. <laughs> I'm going to use your graveyard in case you die first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, dear. I'm, I'm going to go pretty low, too. Mystical shooter? We got, we got this little... Lindos vault. vault. Oh. I don't even know what I want here, because I have no mana. I took this out of my deck, because I thought it wasn't on Magic Online. No, it's on Magic Online. It's been... It, it saw some Legacy Player about... <laughs> Three months ago, someone played Blue Black hmm. Show and Tell, and they played this as one of their like setup pieces. So, for people at home who don't know about this card, you actually get to reorder your deck. Oh no, you don't. You get to shuffle your deck, but put the top five cards in any order, right? <sighs> yup. It's the wording on the original copy is. Then shuffle your library and put the last card you looked at. This no, okay. So you look at it in increments of five, paying a life per time. Eventually, shuffle your library and put one card, the card that you've chosen, on top. So you don't get to stack your deck. I thought I'd just explain it because, like, I don't know if Seth's hovering over it. I don't know if he would be bothered to read it. But yeah, the, the original, the original wording on it is pretty, pretty intense. Maybe the editor can put the original. Back yeah, it's up a, on the it's a now. weird. It is a weird card. <laughs> this is hard. All right, no. Wait, hold on. Let me read this. So now I want these cards. Look at the top five. Then shuffle your Put the last card you look at the top in any order. So the first one you click is the last one you draw. So the card you want to okay. draw. You click last, I believe. Oh, you do get all five on top. Yeah. Wow. But I guess Mono must make that very confusing. So stack this, stack this. All right. And that was during Seth's main phase for some reason, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> are you are you killing me, Richard? I don't know. Hmm. Are you doing something? If you're gonna kill me, then I'm gonna do something. I think I'm just going to do it anyway, just in case. Question is, oh yes, go on, do it, Seth, get him. Me? I can't kill you. No, he's not going to kill you, but, um, <laughs> go on, get him. <laughs> yes! Oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. I don't care about that. All right. If only it said Najila's cannot attack <sighs> But with no mana and not casting anything, I don't think he can kill me. What? I keep, I keep using this flip, though. <laughs> this does keep wow, happening. Your life shot was quite low. Oh, I get the basic forest. Yep. Uh, so Seth, I guess he has so many sigmas. Should I hit Seth? Who's scary? Vince is kind of scary too, but I can't kill anyone. Did knock Seth down so that Necrosoft oh finishes him off. No, no. <laughs> that sounds like a good. Do it. Plan. Do it. I will. Hmm. Crim's like, do, do it. it. Do it. Do what must be done. <laughs> Uh, Crim's bringing the prequel memes. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, okay, we'll, we'll make some dudes like this. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. like, like, even though I'm not actually combo buff, Najila is just, like, so much value. Yeah. And just doing things. And quite apparently good. no one just plays, like, Damnation, or Wrath of God, on competitive EDH week. Oh, I have two Wraths, but as you've noticed, I haven't drawn any extra cards yet, so... Maybe one day. 
in the distant future. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I I hope Vince can just Nekazar wheel and kill you next turn. Nekazar, <laughs> it's one damage for each draw. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So only, I mean, yeah. I think I actually Wait, survive I really a wheel, so two. for this turn at least. Just don't wheel. <laughs> Wait, what? What is this? What do you have in your head? Well, sure, what are you even doing over lands. there? With your three mana, no alone. board. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I have a board. <laughs> We'll go get an island. Oh, yes, thank you. I have a carpet of flowers. <laughs> oh, well, that's no going to win problem. next turn, I think. Uh, no. I had to stop. I had to stop. You have infinite mana. I had to stop ad nauseum. I didn't hit my my food chain. Doing things. He's oh, already oh got this is pretty good. Is this like infinite yeah. mana? So, so he needs something that produces more than one mana with the fairy. So that's one piece. <laughs> oh, no, he just needs Voltaic, Voltaic Key, right? Mm. He can use key no, too, but me. I mean it just goes up there with his commander. Key. He just needs the chain veil. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Oh, he doesn't want us to wheel because the chain veil oh, is there's no way that's to recover. No, but he's, he's got to play buried ruin or academy ruins and things in his deck. Oh, hold on! Now I have to tank. They're all in his hand. <laughs> just all just counter hands. counter his wheel, and then, then you good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'd like to see you try. Cause I gotta pay three to untap this. That's that's a meatball. All right, that's a meatball. It's gonna cost me a bit. What is this going to be? Oh. Do I hate it? Oh. Okay. That's some cool art. What do you got? Does this resolve? Lotus. Copy gilded or mana crypt? I mean, he probably <laughs> just well, might as well go Gilded Lotus, I guess. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna. Yeah, I always think Crypt gives three, but it doesn't. So, wait, now. So, so I think Krim will win next turn. He needs no. a chain veil. If he does have yeah. Chain Veil in hand. One second. I'm also gonna just, uh. <laughs> just <laughs> quickly look at this. For goodness <laughs> sake. <Primer. laughs> so, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you untap Basalt Monolith, you play Chain Veil, you play Teferi, you have infinite mana, infinite Chain Veils. Yeah, it seems like that should work if you have all the pieces. Ooh. Oh, this is on Magic Online now. That's cool. Is he, is Has he anyone played this one in uh, in Legacy events? I don't think so. There was talk of, um, I mean, in front of my John and Page Food Chain Legacy, we're talking about playing it because it can get Manipulate Fate as well as Cantrips and stuff. Um, but I don't think people are playing it. People play the other, the other blue, um, the mythic from Battle Wand, um, Arcane Artisan. Oh, the the show and tell s yeah, it's, thing. Yeah, it's, it's, it's sideboard tech for show and tell because you bring it in when they take out the removal. That makes sense. And then it can like just yeah, it can loot you through your deck. And it can also just make tokens of emeralds and crystal plants. <laughs> it's it's pretty mad. But no, I don't think that's seen much play. I think it's in a list that someone submitted to me for a, do a donation deck list for um, Red Blue Wizards. Okay. Because obviously, Ooh. it find, it finds um, price of progress, which is pretty good at. I can't. I people. can't win the game yet, but I can help us stay alive from a certain person. <laughs> if you promise not to blow up my my stuff. Uh, so we. Who are you afraid's gonna kill you? Right? What, what could it Should be? You? What could his model blue How answer can you... be? <laughs> he he, he doesn't even have blue less. mana. Yeah. How would you cast it this turn? I'm confused. Did he play it? Oh, force no, 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 of will? No. Oh, you can't get force of will. No. No. He's gonna uh, daze? He's gonna get someone? Well, st <laughs> staying alive is, is good. Staying alive daze? is good. And you guys all have such impressive boards <laughs> that I'm like kind of concerned about my life. <laughs> I mean, your, your board's pretty impressive and you've got all oh, our lands tapped, Krim, so stop deflecting. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, all right, all right. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> There's the back to basics. <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna take any. Long. I'm just gonna pick one of these and hope that I don't get bodied immediately. What do you? Well, how scary is what you're taking? I'm just gonna go oh, it's a pat. Okay. Wait, can he pay okay. for pat? He can, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, pretty easily. Well, yeah. not if someone destroys his gilded lotus. Don't. That, that's <laughs> do it. Don't do it. Don't be funny. <laughs> Richard's got jokes. You need to stop. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Seth's playing an elf deck over there. He's got to got Reclamation Sage. <laughs> I don't have much going on. Ooh, Ancient Tomb. <laughs> I'm obviously trying to protect myself from a wheel. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, is it Nekasar time? It's time for group hug. Which is Nekasar time? I'm going to try this. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, fine. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, you get an extra turn. Resolves. Cool. <laughs> Wait, can there also be a Nekazar here? No. Wait, that's an Ancient Tomb. No Wait, did, did he play a land? He played a land. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I played Ancient Tomb. That that's a. Did you pay five mana to cycle? <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, explore. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Got to make that land drop. It doesn't matter. He's gonna wheel. No, he doesn't that. care. <laughs> That's just a flex. <laughs> Weird flex, but okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm so oh, jealous man. of everyone's basic lands. I don't even have That's a basic I... land. <laughs> uh, you you can get one though. <laughs> oh, look at these basics. Dun, dun. To be fair, the deck had no basics. I took out the artifact <laughs> lands and put them in. The, like the first list I looked at. It's playing, it's playing Mox Opal and all three of the artifact lands are no Next basics. Wow. Like, Genius. Tech, yeah, there's tech, no way I'm not playing. Protect against me. <laughs> oh, there it is. Is there also a wheel? Oh, there's there definitely a wheel. Is. The question sure. is, does he have like time walk? <laughs> is time walk legal? You, no, time walk's not legal. At least I only take four damage. Oh, hmm. This also turns off Deathrite Shaman, FYI. Don't, don't, that's right. not a good thing. Right, I'm, I'm, I'm currently you, about to take seven. Are you, you're not going to counter this with your pact? I guess you get to keep your chain mail. Yeah, like it's not discarding my cards. I do get to draw seven new ones. And I do like drawing cards. So you guys Seth roasted drops, me on the last episode about not drawing cards. Seth and drops the draw one cards. off of this, right? I do. Can we get him to draw like <laughs> one extra card somehow? Yeah, you Hopefully know what? Hopefully not. That, that's... Like, oh wait 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 wait. What are you? Are you? Oh, you can shoot. Yeah, but then right? I don't have a land. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. <laughs> oh, but Seth would be dead. I'll be dead to your board anyway. No, you're gonna combo off. <laughs> Crim's got a pact. You guys have it covered in so many different directions. <laughs> oh, the, the, just back to basics. I want this forest. <laughs> 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 Shoot him. Oh, but, but you can kill Seth. You can kill him. If if we if we do the whole wheel, I no longer have a pack. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true. But you'll draw other counter spells, right? One that are free? <laughs> yeah, there's a few. Uh, okay, wait. Yeah, so I gotta do this before. Oh my, I'm gonna go into spite mode. <laughs> what are you gonna do? You're gonna die. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I don't die right now. If he's got a surgical in hand, he can surgical the wounds that he from response. <laughs> yeah, got him. <laughs> Next level. Ah, oh, Richard. Richard, Richard. Hey, this is, this is, Get this him, is Richard. Do it. Do it. Willing to, do it. <laughs> willing to give up a land <laughs> to <make> just <laughs> to kill me. Uh, Cut throat weak. <laughs> so I think I want Scrubland? What is my mana like? This is terrible. Okay. <laughs> It doesn't untap, so I don't. I don't think it especially matters. Well, one day, I might untap this. <laughs> Whoa! Hey. So I'll exile. Ad nauseum seems scary. Snapcaster, noxious. Maybe that. Hmm. Yeah, that's unfortunate. So Seth goes to eight. Then we all draw seven, and Seth goes to one. I go to one. I'm gonna untap the game like fifty life in your upkeep. <laughs> Oh, you might Not have um, a <laughs> uh, nourishing shawl. Oh. I I don't know if there's. Fifteen, fifteen. That's true. I like do I do do I want to like I could save our hands right now. Eh, you probably should. It, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I'm you a, have you, you, you probably what? should. If you, if you have so. the chain veil, because it shuffles no, into your deck I again. I don't. I don't have the chain veil. <laughs> oh well, if you don't have the chain veil, then wheel's probably good for you. Yeah. That's what uh, I'm thinking right now, unless I die. You won't die. Well, which you could probably make you <laughs> die. But I have a 1-1. One, one. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, like, you're on top of your 7 new cards, you've got silly amounts of mana and back to base. If you kill if you kill the um, Krim over there, by the way, Richard, back to the basics goes away. That's true. You don't want to do that. That's absurd. If you don't if you don't kill Vince, doesn't he probably just kill Everyone can all, win all at like next any turn. time at this point, so I don't know how this is going to work. I can tell you that I am not there yet. I am not there yet. And the problem is, and we I... just all got seven new cards, too, so... But Well, but, I'm I'm yeah. dead, so you don't have to worry about me anymore. Oh, don't be like that, Seth. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just a, a state of being. <laughs> can you instant speed do uh, anything? No, I cannot. Well, you're gonna draw one card. Oh no, yeah, kills you as well. Um, 
<laughs> yep. Never mind. <laughs> so close. Good game. <laughs> Sorry, General Tra- Ta- Tazri. Ah, oh, that back to the basics was brutal. Okay, now <laughs> I have sacrificed my my mana for this. <laughs> that that dark that dark ritual literally kept me in the game. Without that, I would not have got to do anything. I could take a million damage here uh, on my upkeep. You're about to. That's why oh, I, I need to. Okay, I finally want to flip. Wait, does Bob Bob draw? No, okay. Bob hit you a land as well. Yes. No way. Yes. I can, it, don't kill me. Don't attack me. I'm gonna try to. Get rid of that annoying oh, Nekusar. I'm trying to get rid of that Nekusar. No, I'm looking. That is nonsense. You are going to combo kill us all. I don't. I do it. not have the combo. I do not have the combo. Everyone's got the combo. I do have a combo in my in my <laughs> deck, right? But I do not have it in hand. <laughs> Excuse me if I don't believe you, sir. I mean, I do love Demir. That is my guild. <laughs> uh, we will add. Don't kill Nekusar because I want to draw cards off of him. I don't, I don't know. Oh, you I got can. the forest? Good job. I got the forest. Yeah, you hit, you hit fetch lands, didn't you? Off of um, Dark Confidant. So you need basic lands when you got mana dogs. Uh, yeah. What, what is this creature? <laughs> Nothing? Okay. Wow. Hold on. <laughs> it's a spell seeker. <laughs> this deck has so many like colorless sources where like I don't want colorless sources. <laughs> it's because of the best fast mana yeah. in Commander is colorless, isn't it, for the most part? Hmm, this Nekusar. This Nekusar needs to go. This Nekusar is me. blocking everything. So is this Spellseeker. <laughs> oh, nonsense. Uh... That's right, Richard. Do it. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the line, Quim. That's not the line. <laughs> True, but you're going down a path I can't follow, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. That back to basics was a was a surprise, but a pleasant well, an unpleasant one, I guess. Actually, I can help us. Are Are you helping us? What are you doing next turn? <laughs> I'm going to get rid of this Nekusar. <laughs> okay, well, you can get rid of it. Nonsense. I don't kill me. You can get rid of it. I, you can get rid but, of it. But, but like this two four just eats everything. So. Oh, no, no. <laughs> this is you're fine. <laughs> now you have to get rid of Nekusar because no. if he wheels, you're dead. <laughs> I mean, I had to get rid of him before. <laughs> Krim, listen to me. Richard is on a lower life total than you are. That's true. Uh, do I? <laughs> Search yourself. You know it to be true. <laughs> um, just I just wanted you to hold me like you did by the lakes of Naboo, the worst line in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> well, those also lines about sand. Let's be honest. Oh, that's true. Uh, okay, I guess I'll block. <laughs> sure you don't want to keep Spellseeker around? You need that body? Wait, you can just win on the spot too if you have a chainmail. Once again, I keep saying I don't have a chainmail. But you could draw one, you could tutor for Actually, one. Actually, I don't think there's enough mana to both play. Oh, because his monolith is tapped. Yeah, yeah, his monolith is tapped. Nope, th- nope, nope. I'll just take the rest of your tokens to the face. It's fine. <laughs> Alright, here we go. What did I draw? Two damage. Don't Two worry, damage I'll, you I'll, here's some more cards. Don't <laughs> worry, don't worry. Yay. <laughs> Wait, is Nekasar symmetrical? No. Wow, Vince doesn't even take any damage. No, so no. broken. <laughs> Please nerf. Yeah, and the is not broken. Let's <laughs> Look at all the warriors you've got. Hey, if you guys just had any form of interaction, it would have all been cool. Whoa. So the moment that um, Krim had a pact, I also had a pact. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought we were going to have like a pact off but it would have been amazing okay. if you both pacted and then someone shatterstormed and you all died <laughs> here we go oh you're winning can no. can Krim win no no hold on oh uh, maybe if you... allow Nekusar to live if you've got bounce spell bounce it after Richard's turn because Rich takes more damage that way well, is he if you can't lifting? win <laughs> okay uh, oh it's happening show us the chain veil I don't have chainmail. Oh, oh, you don't win then. Never mind. I was excited for a second. Yet, can he draw? What, what is what is the fairy's plus? You can draw into it. But if if he draws, then he can't untap for that turn. So we're we're out of chainmail. Oh no! Now he has mana, mind. so he can use mana to dig for a chainmail. Okay. Yeah, if he can oh. like. How, how much does cast activate chainmail? Four and four, I think. We're dead. We're so dead. No, we're not. Hey. We're okay. We're not uh, dead. Hold on. You guys are dead. I'm, I, I'm, 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 I'm gonna pretend that I'm like 
<laughs> not terrible and actually remember the mana cost of Chainmail. <laughs> Oh, uh, he's gonna he's gonna word of invention or whatever. Oh, you have one then. One, two, three. So word puts it into play. It does, and then it's four yeah. to activate. So unless you have something, Crim should go in. Well, he needs a win con too. Doesn't oh. matter. It just takes another turn. Uh. Wait. Oh, wait, what? Hang on. Yeah, he just like activates the. Wait, hang on. Does he just activate to ferry over and over? What is what is the chain veil's cost? Did he do this correctly? <laughs> yeah, four mana. And how much mana does he need to activate four? And then so he would have one left over. Well, I have two. I have technically five mana and then one floating. So oh yeah, one mana. mana, six. How many spells were cast this turn? <laughs> oh come on, dude! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, pop up my modal log. It's just. Do you really have a Fluster Storm? No, Fluster Storm's not good enough. Fluster Storm's not good enough. Do you have, do you have Mind Break Trap in hand? <laughs> oh, come on, dude. No. Oh, my God. This Death Rate Shaman. Okay, that's my last source of mana. <laughs> yes, Richard. I can't win. I cannot win yet. I. Yes, you can. No, I cannot. Yeah. You, you would get infinite uh, mana, right? And then... I don't get infinite mana. You get... You get infinite yeah, mana close. and you should be able to draw your deck. Look, from my point of view, Krim is evil. Is <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> there a counter spell? Yeah, That's the question. Counter. He drew six. He has six cards. But they might all just be like artifact mana in these decks. It might buy you a turn if it's a Expensive mana mana-intensive intensive yeah. counter spell. You should just let it and then let it resolve Krim dies. and then kill this Nekusar, like you promised. <laughs> yeah. No, you're meant to bring balance to the force, Krim. <laughs> if he just, he just, he needs triple wheel, which is totally feasible, and uh, I, I guess we're all dead. I wheel right now. <laughs> I don't have a, I don't have a wheel in hand right now. That is the god's but honest truth. Chat can, chat, comments two, can Two cards that. you get to draw, though. That is true, actually. Necrosound's pretty good, I've heard. Extra turn? That would be good. Extra turn would be good. It's a Thran Dynamo. Uh, okay. okay. He's got, he's got, he's got all the mana rocks. <laughs> I told you, I told you. This is, these He's gonna power sink like for like 60. Then. Oh, that's a chain of vapor. No! Are you gonna sack an island? Okay. If this if this sunken ruin was an island, <laughs> I'd sack it. I could bounce this to fairy, but I'm not Please. going to. Wait, what happens if I wheel with Nekasar in my hand? Uh, you go into your deck? <laughs> yeah. And then you'd have to what find it, yeah. it again. So, so, so the correct play would have actually waited for him to wheel, and then you just chain a vapor that thing. But he gets to counter it, though. I, so maybe this is right. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not gonna open myself up for any counter magic here. But so, so oh, no. Nekusar is Nekusar is in, in, uh, in your hand, or is it in command zone right now? It's in my hand. Okay. Are you, are, are you, you going to wheel? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> I can I can choose to put it in my can command you? zone. From, if it, from... I right click on it. And there's an really? Option. All right, let's see what happens. I, don't... I think. Well, what? it's being it's being discarded. So I right click and choose. But that's... Uh, if Nekasar the Mind Reader will change zones, it goes to graveyard, not command zone. So I turn that off. If if Nekasar the Mind Reader will change zones, it goes to click to change command zone instead of graveyard. Yeah. So it's currently set to go to command zone. Let's see. Let's find out. Go on, Mona. Don't let me down. My hand was actually pretty gassed though. I had an Imperial Seal and a Preordain, so I could have actually. Yes, it worked. So I think if it was a time reversal effect, it would have shuffled into your deck. But since it was no, a no, discard was, effect, no, 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 Tucking doesn't work anymore. The rules changed, didn't they? So there was an option in there when you right clicked on it. There's like three different, like different zones. Really? Huh. Yeah. Interesting. Even if it's in your own hand. Hmm. By the way, that was like the worst wheel of all time. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I drew the worst cards. On the upside, my my basic la unbasic lands don't untap thanks to you, Crim. So it's your fault. <laughs> um, that, that is some number of mana as well. Can I wheel? I don't know if I can wheel or not. Nekasar now costs costs how much? Seven. You have a two mana wheel. <laughs> <laughs> no. Wait, maybe maybe I'm just misunderstanding. No, yeah, like like I don't think I could have won last turn anyways, unless even if I got the chain veil. Let's cast um, Cabal Ritual. Okay, that sounds like a Nekusar into a wheel. <laughs> uh, 
plus you're, seven. You gotta hit <laughs> the Nike star. That is what I'm. I have. I'm I have nothing. Going. I hope you have that pack negation in hand. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I got that dispel. Okay, that's a Nekusar. Do you have wheel? That is indeed a Nekusar. Pass? No, 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 no. Please um, pass. What zero CMC mana producers can I get? Teleria um, West. Just, just. I took Lotus Petal out of the deck as well because, like, that's not very really good. Passing the turn is good. But if I hit a mana, I thought, oh no, because Chrome Box is in my graveyard. No. <laughs> okay, I guess I don't bother tutoring because I'm going to discard it anyway. Oh, but I can... Oh, I know what I do. Okay. Cast this. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. How much do you have floating? <laughs> Three? Two red floating. Two red floating and a command tower? Okay, cool. Yeah. All right, so that's a wheel. <laughs> have you got a mana leak, have you? Uh, you can't cast a mana leak as much as I want to. One-up him and pitch mana leak to force a will. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah Dispel me, will you? <laughs> Winds of change. Uh -huh. oh, oh, we're so dead. I think we're dead, right? Yeah, we're so dead. I, th I think we might be dead, Richard. I think we're just straight up dead. No, no, because you you take eight, Richard, and Krim takes seven. Uh huh. Okay, I'm straight up dead. Also, I discarded my. Uh, I wanted that land so bad. <laughs> In case of Richard tried to double. Oh, I'm one man off wheelie again. No. Um, oh wait, hang no, on. No, 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 no! Don't do anything, please. <laughs> Oh, god damn it. So close to winning again. Why is this card in this deck? This card is terrible late game. Okay. <laughs> oh, I just drew something that helps Vince out. <laughs> oh, I don't want to do this, but I might. You have no mana. <laughs> what are you, what are you, what are you going to do? Are you going to slaughter pact? No, you can't have slaughter pact. <laughs> <laughs> the tech. The tech. How are we not dead? I can search my library for a sorcery, but because I'm, I'm one mana short of wheeling again, it's the frustrating can thing. You... That that back to basics has saved his bacon, as it were. <laughs> um, I had to deal with Teferi, though, don't I? No. To... Oh no, you you can just you can just kill Teferi with combat, can't you? But but so I'm not gonna kill Teferi anymore. <laughs> I need to deal with the Nexar. I'm about to oh, die. Hey Richard, good good call. <laughs> if you pass to. But if you pass the crim, you I just win. I cannot win. I don't know. Like, we gotta see what Nekusar draws me and if Bob and Mana Crypt combine to kill me on my turn, so. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to see. Oh, yeah, Richard could right. still die. Here. I could just die in upkeep. <laughs> Command towers never untapping. Oh, sadness. Ooh. You draw that card, right? Shuffle, no. Draw that. Pass turn. Sweet. Oh. <laughs> I mean, there's no pact in your graveyard. <laughs> Indeed. Indeed, Daddy-o. What did you get? You can just send four warriors to Teferi, and that way Krim can't just untap Just remember that Vince just, like, tutored for something. And I don't know if it was the Winds of Change. I didn't tutor. I, ca I cast Ponder. <laughs> no, but you cast a Demonic Tutor. <laughs> I did. Then I cast a Wheel. Yeah, but that how do that I card... know that you didn't have that Wheel already? But everything else that was in my hand was shuffled back in. Because that's how wheels work. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was the wheel with the change. I had um, I had Windfall or Wheel of Fortune in my hand, but I was trying to maximize mana, hoping I could hit some, like, you know, fast mana or another please, wheel. Please, Mana Crypt, so. please. Okay, I won. <laughs> Bob, I won. Aww. Oh, man, that's pretty good. Okay, Bob, oh, please. Please, basic <laughs> land. Hey, CMC, Avacyn, Avacyn, Avacyn. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. What? We did it. We did it. Such good, such good running. We did it. It's all these years Bob and I spent together. I knew he would have let me down. <laughs> Do you have any eight CMC things in that deck? Obviously, obviously we'll be Oh, okay, okay. I think we should be able to accomplish something this turn. No, that sounds like you're gonna <laughs> kill me. Death White Shaman can gain you life as yes. well, FYI. Okay. I'm trying to get rid of that Nekusar myself. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Just what let does this do? Reveal, put into hand, or draw? Ad <laughs> No, no, no. At five, at five life. <laughs> Tainted pack. Basically, Ad Nauseam. <laughs> so basically, this you is can a tutor demonic for tutor. anything. Yeah. But instant speed. All of which is irrelevant because... Except I'll call it your library. You may put that card into your hand unless it has the same name as another card except this way. 
Put this person to you, put a card into your hand, or you exile two cards in the same game, whichever comes So you exile cards until you hit yeah. what you need. Yeah. Wow, how have I never how have I never seen it's, that before? It's like instant uh, speed demonic tutor, except everything you cast gets exiled or everything you skip through gets exiled. Yeah, I guess the card you're looking for might be at the bottom yeah. of your library, right? So you could mill yourself. Uh, There's actually have like, you never yeah. seen have you never seen the legacy deck, the tainted pack le uh, legacy deck fence? No, oh, I've never seen that you should. Before. It's actually five O's every once in a while. It's all one ofs except for Tainted Pack, and it's it's super sweet. It oh, seems like something it. you would probably play. Yeah, you do realize that I play like really fair stuff in Legacy, right? I mean, it's a pretty fair deck. You have like just a bunch okay. of like Vendillion clicks and Vencers and Planeswalkers, oh, cool, cool. and you're just like using this to try to tutor up the right one. So it actually is pretty fair. Oh, I just thought maybe Terry would poison your mind so much that you thought it was like a dirty legacy <laughs> combo player or something. No, no, it's it's surprisingly fair for being built around a tutor. Oh, I got it. So I need to see what my card is called. Hold on. <laughs> card on I, I know I haven't passed the card I wanted yet, but hold on, let me just double check on the name of uh, the, the, the card I want. Uh, spoiler alert, it's going to be a combo piece. I'd rather you didn't. At this point... I don't care. I'd rather just not die to Nekusar. Okay. Or or your army of warriors. Krim, I, I know. I can hear it in your voice. You've got it in hand. you got it in hand. You I know keep it. You thinking I have it. I do not have the the chain veil? No. No, that's it. I'm not listening to you. You're trying to pollute my the mind chain. with your Sith ways. <laughs> I do not have the chain veil in it. I have an artifact. Oh, uh, <laughs> every time I wheel, I should say, I'll, I'll try spinning. That's a good trick. <laughs> Wait, did this card get exiled already? No, right? Did you discard it earlier? Hold on, hold on, let me make sure. Did, did it get wheeled away or something? Hold on. What are you after? Druid's Repository. Oh, wait, well, Seth, Seth countered, countered that earlier. Yeah, but didn't oh, it but get- Oh, but then we shuffled it, got, it back it, it got in. shuffled in, right? Yeah, well, it didn't get exiled, right? Let me just double check that it's actually in my deck. It's, it's not in your yeah. exile, sorry. Okay. That uh, would be so funny. <laughs> <laughs> your graveyard. <laughs> This is a very hard thing because I have to keep clicking no on every card. And if I accidentally click no on the combo piece, <laughs> then I just die. Are you just exiling your entire library to find Druid's yep. repository? Just no. power click, just speed click. Let's just see what happens. This is much easier to do in paper magic. Like Russian roulette. Yep. Just, ah, you know, whatever, we'll see. <laughs> you have to wear a blindfold and say yes or no. All right, we did it. Uh, okay, I'll play this. Actually, hold on. Play this in case I need this card, or play this in case I need this card. How many cards do you hand? Eleven. How does that happen? Bob, Nekusar. Oh, Richard. So now we do this. Druid's repository. <sighs> so you're going to make seven, eight, nine, ten mana. So I, I've least. got infinite maybe, here, maybe right? nine because, mana. Because uh, when I attack, I get all this mana, and then I can just activate Nagil and get another attack. So you, you need to interact oh, I see. Uh, immediately right now. <laughs> um, <laughs> do you have force as well? Pack? Oh! Pack of negation. Wow, no. <laughs> okay. Well, GG. Uh, that should do it. That's it yeah, then, isn't that'll it? That'll do it. So now I, I go to combat. I really don't have chain veil in my hand. <laughs> Oh man, so close, so close. So, cl if you had one more mana, would you have killed Richard? Yeah, I've got I've got Windfall in oh, hand. So close, yup. I know. There was a, so there was a point earlier on where I didn't play Chrome Mox because I had a Pact of Negation in hand, and I didn't want to exile the Pact of Negation to get the extra mana. Um, I should have really spoke to Krim first because you didn't want to count my wheel at the time. Then you could have bluffed and you could have gone back on the deal, I guess. No. This looks like a mess on screen. So now Richard basically has, for the viewers at home, uh, every attacking creature makes a mana of any color, essentially, with Druid Repository, and then he pays five to get an extra combat and untap everything with Najila, and then that also makes more warriors each time. So basically, uh, infinite combat steps and infinite warriors until everyone dies, more or less. Uh, yeah, and lifelink. And the so. and and the only thing he has to really life link. Where did that come from? The shield. The shield. The Don't worry, the there's more abilities. Every every every, every keyword Wait, is on there. <laughs> why? 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 Why do they? Why? That is a good question. But for the viewers at home as well, what would you need to play around here is Rakdos Charm, because that would get yep, him good. That would. Oh. What if I had Simeon Spirit Guide, Elvish Spirit Guide, Manimal Foes, <laughs> Rakdos Charm, which is? It got me. <laughs> that would do it. That would be the best kill well, ever. Yeah. 
I mean, I'm, I'm, I don't even have green in my deck, so that could not happen. Ah, uh, so many clicks. See, I in, I have an Inventor's Fair. I was going to play that in Voltaic Key. <laughs> <laughs> go, 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 fetching for the chain veil, because I don't have it in hand. And uh, and then I was going to Time Twister to kill Richard. Ooh, that would have been sweet. <laughs> we'll play the chain veil and then, and then obviously do it. Wow. Well, uh, that's Najila. Man. With no interaction or ras that goes quick with Najila. That's such a scary card. Oh, I think I misplayed. Because you know what I was on about where I was one mana short, so I shoot for the one mana wheel. I should have cast the three mana wheel hoping I drew the one mana wheel. Not shoot for the one mana wheel trying to draw a three mana wheel. That was wrong, mm. wasn't it? How many mm. one man, how many one mana wheels do you have? There's only one though. Just yeah. just the one. There's just the one exists, I think. Yes, yeah, so I think I just I try I think I I don't know why I did that. I guess it cost it, <laughs> that was dumb. But I guess in the long run, if I cast less, if I cast more spells out of my hand, the wheel is better for me. If that makes sense. Oh, and Richard wins. Oh, I won. Wins the die roll. Yes. yes. <laughs> Broken. Hmm. Hmm. Uh. Yeah. Well, we'll keep this. I don't. I think my hand is too slow. Yeah, I, think my hand I is have pretty slow too. But I have the all mana hand. I don't have any payoffs, but I have I have lots of mana. I think I keep this. My hand is perfectly fine, it's just really slow, so no mulligan. Um, this is slightly better, but only marginally. Haha. -ha. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I was confused. I thought I won the die roll. Like, how come Seth is going first? This is outrageous. Uh, no way. Wow. Look at that Kill luck him. counter. Um, what are, what are we exiling here? What an absolute luck, Seth. <laughs> <laughs> um. There's no such thing as luck. It's all a force that binds us. Yep. There's a line about that in Star Wars somewhere, isn't there? Wait, why? Unfor why is this card in this deck? I'm confused. I gotta read my primer after this. Hold on. <laughs> 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 I'm so confused as to why this is a card. I actually gotta know. Hold on. I gotta see what dual lands are in my deck before I fetch something that I cannot fetch. <laughs> uh, uh, they're probably. Okay. Aren't they just all in there? Are it they? seems like if you're playing five colors, you would just play all of them. So quick, quick check. How expensive are your decks in paper? Mine is at a, a hair under five thousand at four thousand eight hundred. Oh my gosh! I didn't even see this. Mine's at seven thousand three hundred sixty-two dollars. <laughs> how uh, how in mono blue is it that expensive? Uh, <laughs> oh oh. What on earth, you well, tabernacles in this. Oh oh, so that, tabernacle and like, LED yeah, bats. That, that's already twenty-five hundred. So mine's six and a half. Or something. Yeah, six six point six for mine. Well, I have the mo oh, and Time Twister is in this. That's right, and that's t that's three thousand. <laughs> oh, the, the one legal Power Nine card. Oh, so that means like five thousand of those dollars is those two, two cards. cards. Yeah, everything else. So it's only two thousand if I wanted to go out and buy this. Proxy. Right, so... I was gonna say, what do you have those expensive cards, then, do you? <laughs> no, I don't. Which do you you own lands, don't you? Do you pay oh, lands no. in paper? No, no, that's who who can afford Tabernacle? That's ridiculous. <laughs> Uh, legacy That's place. so expensive. There's so many other. It's I, so I, like I, it fits in one deck and only one deck. It's such it's such a fun deck yeah. to play though. It really is. But um, a friend of mine bought in recently just before the huge spike on both Moxes and Tabernacle. So he bought in at like two or three thousand pounds, maybe a bit less, and sold out almost wow. double, like literally a month later. It was crazy. Okay, hold on, guys. Because he said he look how much mana Seth has. <laughs> what? That, that's it's all mana though. I got nothing else. Oh my god, why am I so <laughs> You don't even have a permit on the field. What are you doing, Vince? <laughs> uh, that's what you get for losing the die roll. Oh, Five mana on. versus zero I could have rolled to six looking for some mana, but I didn't. So I'm going to look the hand with no extra mana, and this has got some mana, but not turn one mana, you know? Hold on, I, I might be doing this wrong. <laughs> How do I imprint here? You have to choose a colored, source, colored card in your Correct. hand. Correct. Well, technically you don't have to choose a colored card. You can choose a colorless how it draws, it just doesn't do anything. There we go. All right, I was like, what's going on? Factor fiction. Oh. What is going oh. on? Oh. <laughs> I mean, this is his God. deck. It's all these, like, crazy mana rocks. But I'm doing nothing. So. But you got to hope, like, what happened, like, last game where he just ramps and then never gets a payoff and he just ramps, <laughs> yeah. like, forever. Like, I just was like, cool, I have all this mana. <laughs> and the only time I could get a payoff, somebody dispelled me. I'm going to remember that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I dispelled the word invention. I don't know who the owner of that spell was. Oh, yeah. Just let you know, Richard, that hurt. <laughs> I'm sure it did. That's why I did it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Yeah, I, I like Najilab. 
Like, you don't have to do anything. You can just play Najila and just attack people, and you'll win the game. Maybe I should have mulligan for a mana rock. <laughs> and then, like, you can just randomly combo off and win, too. So I actually really like Najila. Yeah, the Gila, the Gila seems pretty sweet. Especially in a game like this, where we all counter each other and kind of, like, stop our decks, and then just this 3-2 that keeps giving creatures will eventually take over the game. Oh boy. More mana, Seth. Can never have too much mana. And, uh, I think... Huh. I think, uh... Oh. I think maybe I would like Nishila. Are you taking the Gila? Yes. <laughs> Definitely. Well, you should have saved that for Nekuzar. Nishila is way scarier to me than Nekuzar, actually. I mean, I am approximately 5,000 <laughs> turns away from uh, Seth right already now. has, like, what? 5, 6, 7, 8 mana? He's fine. <laughs> I, Do you ever think that you, you don't mulligan enough in Commander? Because I think I definitely shy away from going down to 6 or 5. Uh, I think I do that too, usually, yeah. yeah but you, you're... You, you, not to be, I'm not trying to mock you or anything, but I do think you keep quite risky hands a lot, don't you? You're always like, oh, deck, why have I only got two lands? <laughs> yeah, that makes it more fun that way. That's the then I can blame special. The, then I can, blame, <laughs> I can blame the deck, and I don't have to feel bad about myself. <laughs> so it's always the yeah, deck's fault. Win-win, I guess. <laughs> I guess I could draw any one mana rock here and be okay. Speaking of one mana rocks. <laughs> wow, I'm so behind, even though I actually ramped Vince's like in the Stone Ages over there. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna play a swamp, pass. <laughs> <laughs> no, I fetched for it actually. Yes, power up Death Rite Shaman. Please play back to basics. Come on. <laughs> Help me, Asian Avenger. You're my only hope. <laughs> I wish, dude. Oh my gosh. To be honest, Seth would still be off to the races. Don't worry, you, you, you Null Rod. Players. I guess you're not playing Null Rod because it defeats half of your deck. <laughs> a Null Rod and back to basics, and will it be in for a five hour game? I should have had stats this week, shouldn't I? <laughs> I figured you would. I was really. But I was scared that if it. Because Tome was obviously meant to be on. I don't know if we mentioned this. Tome is just not here just by coincidence. He, he was meant to play this week. I didn't want to come back after two weeks, three weeks of playing the Tome. play stacks. Just stacks and upset him again. Because I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be nice to the guy, you know? I've had people messaging me, tweeting me like stacks lists all week as well. People, people really want to see it. <laughs> to be, right. You actually chose oh, the next worst thing. Crit. I think out of all the decks, if you just saw commanders, the person you would kill first would be the Nekisar player, right? Is that the scariest yep. deck here? Usually, I, I, I think I think Najila is pretty. I bad. would probably go after Najila personally. I have. A She's not even listed as tier one. I was a little worried about her, but uh, she did pretty well. That's, Make that's, sure yeah, Seth, that she's... you attack me with Najila so I can block it. But then it goes no, he, he wants to make a. He's gonna go infinite. He already has. If he has a way to filter mana, he can go infinite and win, man. So you're saying um, I should so... watch out for Seth? <laughs> I I think Najila will be top tier once she sees more play. Right, the reason she's not top tier right now is because she hasn't been out for very long. She should have been on Modo like a matter of a month or so, hasn't she? Yeah, so. it has. Eh, yeah, not very long so far. I bet she will be top tier. Every time I've seen someone play Nijila, it's been super impressive. She's so pushed. Like, look at all that text. I forgot about the lifelink trample haste. <laughs> but wait, <laughs> we have more. <laughs> it's only three mana. It's so cheap. Tapping out, Richard? Not respecting the back to basics? What are we going to do? <laughs> hold, hold back to basics? <laughs> oh, my oh, I wanted goodness. to take the Nekusar. But I'll take, <laughs> I'll take my Nijila back. <laughs> And then, and then Seth's gonna play Phantasmal in me, copy and Gilded Drake. <laughs> this is a wonderful, wonderful <laughs> trade. Okay, Drake's all around. Everybody gets a Drake. Uh, oh, I should have attacked. Oh, I missed damage. Um, greatness at any cost. Having a Dark Confidant every game seems good. Not interacting with a Dark Confidant feels bad. <laughs> Wait, was Dark Confidant in your, like, command zone again? <laughs> Pretty it's, much. It's starting to feel that way. How do you draw that singleton, man? <laughs> hey, this is this is the deck. It just draws Dark Confidant. Yes, get him! What? I'll teach him to play back what to basics. Uh, you better not, you better not fast cast another back to basics. This is a, this is an early warning. So <laughs> <laughs> there's more, there's more Drake this coming. Shots off the bow. The basics are coming. <laughs> You should bounce the Drake so Seth can get the Jeweler again. Go on, do it. I'd be okay with that. I have three cards. I don't know what you, you all think I'm doing. Najila is lonely. We need some warrior friends. If only Dark Confidant was a human wizard guess... warrior, that'd be great. Human wizard warrior. <laughs> yep. I mean, the best the best wizards are warriors, right? Are there any wizard warriors? Well, Gandalf was a bit of a warrior. 
Obi-Wan Kenobi, all the Jedi are wizard warriors. I guess if you use it. Whoa. 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 Oh my goodness. Are we yeah. dead? <laughs> How much mad is Probably. He? Probably. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm not ever supposed to cast my commander into like combo. It doesn't really do <laughs> yeah, anything. Your, your commander doesn't do anything. I don't think you want to cast it like that. Well, look, look at it this way, right? When Najula taps for five mana, she wins the game. <laughs> her ability. When you activate General Master. <laughs> I could have tutored an ally though. I have I have like three. Oh, okay. yes, that's true. I just uh, that is true. I, I don't. Guess. Have... I guess if Najila Najila isn't pushed enough, if only she ETB'd and then shooted up a warrior. <laughs> I remember when we first saw this card. We're like, wow, why, why so many abilities? And then it's a three mana three two on top of it. It's because Battleborn needed a few more <laughs> mythics for people to chase for commander. They had. So they're like one of these legendary stacks has of to warrior be tokens really that they need to sell. So they're like, okay, here we go. <laughs> do I have enough to do what I want to do? You have a lot of mana too. <laughs> yeah, but I know someone's gonna counter me here, so. Nah, good odds, uh, buddy. I, I mean, I guess that could be a mana leak over there by Vince. Everyone else is tapped out. Can, oh boy. Can Krim win? No, not really. <laughs> I mean, yeah. he could. I mean, he, there's lots of things he could. He could like to fairy, untap his rocks, time walk, and then win the next turn. Or I'm I'm thinking about what the line is here i think okay so we play this <laughs> oh that, that's oh. a high oh. tide I, I tapped i should have tapped the mox why yeah why, why what are you doing <laughs> the mox all right if you're one short someone's not a seasoned high tide player <laughs> Can, okay candelabra tons, tons, let's see it tons of mana <laughs> that's gotta be a wheel There's, oh to fairy okay oh here goes the fairy oh criminally has one card in hand though yeah, it's probably Chain Veil. <laughs> <laughs> that would be pretty good. Wait, that's not a counter spell. <laughs> Pyroblast? <laughs> Are you ready for gu guttural response? <laughs> <laughs> what is Krim's last card? Well, it's got to be something good because he didn't need the high tide <laughs> to cast the fairy, right? Yeah, that's what makes me think wheel. No, well, I'm, I'm, kinda, I'm yeah, taking a risky funny. play. <laughs> yeah, he's going to wheel then. How risky are we talking? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. 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 This works. <laughs> you can draw quite a few cards here. That's like a really expensive wheel. Did the pulse shuffle in? Yeah. It goes back to hand if someone has more cards than you. Yeah. I think. Oh, so you get to yeah. draw like a he bunch has to of cast it multiple right, times. Right, right, right. I forget how the pulse cycle works, as most of them are quite bad. Yeah, they they don't really see play. What does the white one do? I assume it just gains you life. Yeah, that's, that's the one I so. play in modern. <laughs> For what? Burn, in what deck? For fun, out of the sideboard against. Someone. That's like your burn hoser. <laughs> yeah, it's cute. Can I think Pulse oh. tangle the oh, green one? Dig whoa. Time. Whoa, 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 whoa! Where's that gutter response, Vince? I'm, I'm saving it. Although, I'm saving myself for marriage. <laughs> I don't think Krim can win here, though. I don't think he has enough mana. He just needs to time walk, and then he gets. Yes, to... time walk. There's a chance. Then he can do more stuff. I mean, his cells have the highest concentration of midichlorians I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, <laughs> just, 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 just stretching for a really bad prequel. Sorry, I'm not these. Carry on, Krem. Two of these into my hand? That's too much pressure. Uh, you, you just want more card draw. It doesn't matter if you I, have mana or you have win cons. Just throw that all away and get more cards. This seems pretty good. Any order. Any oh, wow. Okay. Okay, do we all get Force of Wills in hand now? <laughs> Well, there goes my mana rock. I should have just mulled to oblivion. <laughs> like <laughs> That was the worst <laughs> ever! <laughs> it can't be! You said the last wheel was bad. No, it you was six mana. You really just the worst. The still called the worst. <laughs> yeah, just just wheel again. Yeah, right? <laughs> I wouldn't I wouldn't be upset. Straight up. Oh. Oh, oh come on, that's not the worst. I drew <laughs> all lands. <laughs> your, your your definition of the worst is uh different to mine yeah okay your turn <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, that sounds like the worst <laughs> okay yeah it's pretty bad i, I mean you you, you're pretty set up for next turn more lands. man of what go come on i should have just played the oh. stasis <laughs> oh, oh my whoa, god whoa 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 <laughs> Ho hopefully what? that was shuffled back in <laughs> <laughs> i got greedy i wanted to play the stasis i want to see if i can draw into some more useful things 
Oh my god. Yeah, if you played Stasis, oh, that would have ended me. <laughs> if you if you just cast a fairy, if you played Stasis, you just win, right? Uh, uh, pretty close. No, but no, everyone it's not can't a guaranteed do win, but you yeah. get to untap and no one else does. So, so I should have just taken the Stasis and played that. <laughs> I'm yeah, kind of yeah, glad like, you did. That didn't. was <laughs> Me too, I but that's I didn't like read just, my primer enough. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Plays a stacks deck, refuses to play stacks pieces. <laughs> he was digging for back to basics. <laughs> I was. I was digging for back to basics. Uh, well, I have fun, kids. Oh boy. The old preordained pass. Yeah. I could have played a favored visions, but that would just annoy everyone. So I just might as well just pass and like. I should have uh, played the basics. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you should. I'm playing like 15 artifacts. I think like 12 of them are mana. Maybe 11 of them. Who are you going to Najila, Richard? You. <laughs> You're the only one. Najila actually is quite frail. Oh, that's a, actually, that's a that's a very good point. I don't, um, she would just die. I can't kill that Teferi. That's, that's disappointing. You can at least not... Well, Gilded Drake can yeah, knock, I can him knock him down. Yeah, I can knock him down with it. I, I have a and Gilded then... Drake too. So together, Ooh. with our powers combined. We're Captain Planet. That's not a Star Wars reference. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what you guys think I'm doing, but <laughs> this deck fizzles. I mean, I could, I can't, I, can't I gotta, I gotta prepare for getting fight. around stasis by killing you. <laughs> we'll, we'll play this elf. It's just that's all I'm gonna remember now. Should play the stasis. I'm hoping the comment section don't let me live it down yep, either. Yep, the comment section's gonna roast me alive. And the best part is, I, I just wanted it out of greed. <laughs> I just wanted to be greedy. <laughs> How man, Richard is already close to going infinite the the, the Gila train is starting well this is my first warrior and the mana but still so if you if you can give your dogs vigilance attack float the mana activate Wait, how does her... this not kill teferi what it, it only does three what are all of these attacking then uh, oh they're attacking uh, the rest because are... i don't want you to kill oh. our confidant <laughs> yeah they're attacking me because that's what people do is bully me <laughs> You choose the person with the least permanence on the battlefield. Three. <laughs> and then you attack them. <laughs> yeah, this this game... Last game was bad. This game was even worse for me. Like, what does your deck do before you cast Nekvisar? Does your deck just all ramp into Nekvisar? There's, like, things like Fevered Visions, oh, Hound okay. Mines, that sort of stuff. Okay, so that happened. Mm-hmm. Well. Okay. Yeah, so I think next turn, can Richard win? Maybe. Only two warriors, Probably. but... I have two warriors at the moment. Uh, all right, what can we do? Can you can you kill the Teferi, though? Uh, I will attack the Teferi, yeah. No. Someone also killed the Najila, so that we don't just get randomly combo. You can bounce <laughs> the Drake. How is, the, how is Teferi the, 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 the problem? <laughs> you, have, you have a whole board, and none of our decks interact with your board. All right, so step one... <laughs> Man manipulate fate, Commander All Star. Yes. <laughs> what does that do? Probably one of the best cantrips ever printed. Uh, right? For food chain, food chain, it is anyway. super. It is super good for food chain because you want cards in exile anyway. Like there was a discussion recently on my Discord about whether you drop the twelfth cantrip in Legacy Food Chain to play like the full four manipulate fate because you have to pay four ponder four brainstorm without a doubt. But do you cut preordains for that? Because I mean, in food chain, it's even better. Well, the second and third ones aren't as good. Conclusion. But... Do you cut it? Uh, there's a big argument and no one agrees. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like the internet. <laughs> but yeah, look at that value there. Put three of like the engine cards into the exile zone and draw a card. That's insane. Uh, now I just need so to find good. a food chain eventually. Are you really still doing... You, you wrapped to eight mana, got wheeled, so you, you got to refresh your hand. It's still done. <laughs> there, there's only one food chain. I do have a lot of tutors. I just have not found them. All right, so kill to fairy. Do you, though? All right. All right. I'm going to try. If you cast a spell, I'll never trust you again. You said your hand was all lands. <laughs> oh well, they're they're miss they're mostly all lands, and like like I have like really bad not useful cards that I may as well use this to at least preserve a Teferi. <laughs> but I at the same time have to respect Richard. <laughs> what do you? Yeah, like a psychotic yes. rift. No, it's much worse. <laughs> So, some might say you'd have to fear him. Chain of evil. And we asked, fear yes, we, is the path we, we got to the dark Vince. side. <laughs> Vince was like, should I add the second part? Did they get it? <laughs> uh, don't bounce the guilty Drake. Then Richard gets it back oh, and he takes, yes. takes your trinket mage. Yeah, I don't and... mind bouncing that. I really wanted Vince to cast Nekasar. I wanted to take it with Gilded Drake. 
I'm still two turns off. I know. What are you doing, man? You're awful. ruining my plan by being too slow. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm trying to draw mana rocks, but I've been wheeled as well. So I've seen like 15 cards and not a single rock. Well, I saw one rock in my opening hand, but it's three mana. This is the perfect time for strip mine. I, I, I don't know. Do these decks have strip mines? Maybe not. Mine does not. Mine does not. How sad. People don't have the universal love for strip mine like we do. <laughs> Yeah, CDH players, they need more script mine love. <laughs> it's, it's like you need colored sources or something, I don't know. Aw, oh, I lost the flip. Yeah, you still have like 12 more until you die. Oh, no. <laughs> more lands? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that, that's gotta be good, right? What do you have? Oh, no, you have I don't have anything in the graveyard. It's game. Game, please. That's a lot of mana you're tapping there. Crim. To cast a fairy again? Oh wow. <laughs> That's a, the problem. The deck makes so much mana. Killing fairy doesn't actually do much because then fairy just comes back and untaps everything anyway. Well, it accomplishes not dying that exact turn. That, that's... <laughs> but then uh, it's gonna happen again next turn. So you gotta you gotta deal with it. Dude, what do you mean? I haven't even done anything. You're fine. You're fine. You don't need to worry about me. Thank thankfully. No, I meant in general. <laughs> here, here you're kind of useless. Two gilded drakes is like the perfect amount of damage to kill a Teferi that pluses. <laughs> we we got it covered. <laughs> stop stop killing it though. Just stop killing it. It's like a circle of life, but I don't know any Star Wars quotes about circles of life, so... Right. Something about what do I draw? Oh, that's land. That's not very accelerating, is it? How oh, about Ancient God. Tomb? Ancient Tomb would be good. It would be, wouldn't it? I guess I'm just going to wheel and see what happens, right? Draw uh, some fast mana, Vince! Come on! Hmm. Don't counter this, Seth. <laughs> no, I, I'm okay with a wheel. I might cast some things first, though. Oh, okay, fair enough. Uh, uh hold on, hold uh, on, hold on. I do care. I, 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 I do want this. You guys time. all want wheels. <laughs> I do want this time twist. Wait, to are you, are you gonna counter the delay, Crim? Oh well, I, I have. I want to. I kind of want to bounce that gilded Drake so I don't die. So, so it's like a very. It's like a British stack. Oh no! Off will, you, sir. Will, will you counter it? Set. Don't mind. Everyone well, passes so, and it just resolves. So if. <laughs> If you will counter the delay, I can kill the Najila. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Okay. That sounds whoa, like a whoa, good whoa, deal. Whoa. I like that. I, I like where that. does okay. come from? Because I do want the wheel, but I also would like to get rid of Najila if possible. Okay. Kill. Okay. Hold. Well, let me. Actually, let me, I can. Yeah, me, I can. Yeah, if okay. you're gonna. Oh wait. Oh, what if Richard has a counter? Do I need to leave up count? I could technically kill Najila <laughs> and Dark Confidant. But. Whoa. But, whoa. But then whoa. If Richard counters back. Do it. Do uh, it. All right. Well, step. It, was, it won't even be legit counter, it'll be manatized. Just get you. <laughs> Step one. Uh, he doesn't even have any Abrupt mana. Decay. Nishila. Wow, how rude. Alright, now let me respond. Right. And then... I, I'm just going to call Dark Confidant too, I think. Sad. Alright, I'll let Krim, yeah, I'll let Krim the counter. First. And then I can... You sure? And then with the you yeah, sure you leave Bob? Once, me damage. once that resolves, I can still path Dark Confidant. Do you, you oh. don't have you don't have it, do you? <laughs> okay. Oh, you win. Oh. <laughs> oh well, gain two life. No, he doesn't even shuffle back. Why? But see, Bob just wanted uh, to play I, a nice game of magic. <laughs> am I gonna die next turn? Like Seth, are you gonna kill us next Come turn? On. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna use this. Hold on, I'm not gonna. Like, I'm not we gonna, don't want. I'm not gonna do anything. I, to Seth. I want this wheel to resolve. So. I just, That's the problem, though. I just, He's gonna hey, get a hand of gas. This this is owned by you, Seth. This Drake. Okay. And then that's owned by Richard. Are you bouncing Drakes? <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna shuffle back in, so it gets rid of him forever. Seems seems smart. Mike, it's. Oh, is he echoing truth? What is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tom. Seth. I'm gonna help you out here. <laughs> uh, okay. You can have this back. <laughs> Sweet. Gonna Should I sack the land? Sack the, oh, land. You should have sacked the Volk and bounced the other Gilded Drake. <laughs> uh, this is one hell of a turn. I'm, I'm, I'm good. Wow. The... Alright, and now we get to... The most number of spells cast on any turn was in mine. Just gonna take that as my... Uh... Oh, that's that's almost fast mana. Right, have fun, kids. How did the wheel work out? Not very... Guys? Never good. <laughs> I cannot find a tutor of food chain. It's never gonna happen. I mean, you must be running, like, all of them, right? All the black ones. Yeah, you got all the tutors. Idyllic, Enlightened Tutor, like, all of it, right? All of them, yeah. Are you playing Gamble? <laughs> uh, no, I don't think there's a Gamble, actually, so I guess um, not quite all of them. 
Also, does anyone think that mm. the art for General Tazri, those walls in the background look like the stacks of trash from Wally, the Pixar movie? <laughs> oh, I, I, I hadn't considered that. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, with the Drake bounce, we can't kill the fairy. That's true. Richard, and you were meant to bring balance to the board. I did bring balance to the board. <laughs> No, Ri <laughs> Richard does, oh. has a three one ones. <laughs> I think I think this is good. If Krim wheeled into Chain Veil though, yeah, then it then it's less good. Trust me. First off, if I did, you guys probably would have a counter spell for it. Second off, <laughs> man, my last few wheels just haven't been that great. That, I think that sounds like you just wheeled into Chain Veil the way you said no. that. No, I, I think I, you have it. Yeah, I, yes, I, I did do. sound I that did sound something. mighty I do suspicious. Something pretty cool though. <laughs> I, I'm excited to play. If, <laughs> unless I die this turn, then I won't get to play. I don't know what to do here. Hmm. Why does the Gila cost so much? The Gila. How much does she cost? Five. I mean, I guess I could play this. Uh, I, I guess I should fetch up my forest before this all goes horribly awry. That's a good card. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, I have to F6, don't I? I'm so, I've hardly done anything this game, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, next turn, you can play your commander. I've been playing real group hug though. I've been wheeling and dealing. <laughs> there hasn't been many howling mines. I could use a howling mine to help me find my combo pieces. Yeah, I haven't seen. I had Front of Mythos in hand at one point, but <laughs> it's so funny that this deck only has the co one combo. <laughs> it's like, I mean, it it has a few other ways to win, but like, I mean, it's practically split the twin, right? It's what? It's just like <laughs> it no other win con. It is kind of splinter. Tw oh my goodness! <laughs> well, there's no Najila. <laughs> no Najila. All right, I guess y'all are gonna have to deal with that one. We'll try. <laughs> Wait a minute. Doesn't he just attack now with all three? Get three mana on it. Then we play Najila for five man. No, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Yeah, I think it's it's too late for yeah. Najila, thankfully. And I, I will block with my uh... trinket mage so fast you don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you tapped out. What? Ooh. Wait a minute. Uh. Oh wait, I can't even this... hit the fairy though. But it just taps things. Yeah. Yeah, it just taps stuff or untaps. You can, you can tap the fairy, can't <laughs> <Yeah>. you? <laughs> <laughs> I, I really wanted to hit the fairy, but I can't. I bet. Did, did, Crim's deck has some mono the, artifacts. Tap, tap the trinket mage and attack the fairy for three. You have to connect though, right? But I want I want the triggers. Yeah. So you have to connect first. It, but you would have still killed. You would have hit the fairy down to lethal and got mana on your repository as well. Wait, how would that down to lethal? Because then the fairy would be on three and Seth can finish it off. Guild, I still have a gilded oh, break. Oh, I, I, I totally forgot about that. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> he says as he attacks Seth. Wait, 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 hold on. <laughs> okay, so we're on well, the. Everyone just calm down. <laughs> ignore the fairy plan. I, 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 I didn't tap the thing, so now I gotta just do this. Oh, well, I, I didn't want to cast this card. Settle the wreckage? Well, no, I guess I have to. <laughs> you going to settle the wreckage? <laughs> oh, I wish. Okay, so I want to... Oh my god, that, even without the combo, Druid's Repository is actually really good. Yeah, if you have a bunch of creatures, it just makes a bunch of mana. I'm surprised it doesn't see more play. Like, in Commander, I mean. Yeah, like Elf Ball decks or whatever, if you're going wide yeah, with a bunch exactly. of dorks. Like Omnath token, well, Om Omnath go wide decks and stuff. Yeah. I'm really excited. Ooh, I have a land and I can't wait to play it. Ah. Uh. Oh, is it, is it Tabernacle? <laughs> Did you draw your, your $2,000 <laughs> Tabernacle? He's going to play back to basics Tabernacle. Uh, That's what's that, going to happen. That would be terrible. I've never uh. gotten to play. I've never even seen this card. I actually even touched this card. This is the closest I'm getting. The the, the the greatest feeling in the world is in Legacy when someone goes um, Eye of Ugin and plays three Mimics. <laughs> you untap, wasteland them and play a Tabernacle off an Exploration. It's so good. Like Mox, discard land, Exploration, wasteland you, play Tabernacle. Wait, are we dead? And, and all the, oh, it's Wait, so it doesn't good. even matter if I Tabernacle, right? Because he just swings. If you back to basics, oh, yeah. then... Sure, it, it, <laughs> if I good. get back to basics, correct. You should be able to, like, draw into it with, like, your raw power of draw. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I mean, back to basics would be awful for me as well, because I'm already struggling on mana. I fetched a forest. Uh, all right. I'm good. <laughs> Let's see. So, uh... uh are you winning? Black? No. Uh-oh. But I'm 
I'm Are you wrapping the gonna make you I'm gonna yeah, actually yes in a weird way. Wait. Uh so wait. One, two, <laughs> three, four, so five, like a, six, a seven, eight, cleansing. nine, ten. <laughs> Don't wrath before you've hit Teferi. Oh, I'm not wrathing my board. <laughs> oh. D Dune Blast? Pass? <laughs> no, the, you will never you will never guess this card. It is old and kinda janky. Oh, is this the one uh, where you pay one, life to Fari Confident? Uh, that is exactly it. You you will guess what, it. What does it do? Nailed it. It's uh, um, it's like oh, part of volcano I million. Have this. I don't know. I, I guess it because I'm thinking of playing it in Legacy for bees. Oh, uh, that makes sense with bees. Shoot your hornets less ten. Oh, look at that! <laughs> look at that board wipe. <laughs> look at the card. It's got like a dragon head on it. <laughs> I think it's one of the elder dragons, but I might be wrong. To the trinket mage, I really. You needed to get. Oh, he, he paid too light for that too. Oh, uh, whose swan song is this? Richards. Whose else would it be? <laughs> Vince's. Hmm. Hey, hey! I could, I could play a spell. You, you're gonna, you're gonna save my board. Oh, that's a oh, path. yes. All right, worth, worth the trinket mage. <laughs> worth the trinket mage. To fairy will take three. Worth. I, I think Richard wins next yeah, turn if I exactly do this. Worth. So. Yeah, if someone could blow up the, the Druid's Repository. If you uh, could draw a card. Oh my goodness. You better not be able to draw it. Oh, wait. No, does it go in my hand? <laughs> I don't remember what this card does. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> oh. Can you imagine if it went to hand? I thought it went to hand. Card. <laughs> what? Two, two life regrow? <laughs> I thought it was. <laughs> that makes sense if you say it like that. <laughs> that would be too good. We are oh. all so good at this game, aren't we? I'm so sad. Now now I'm done. It's okay, it's okay Richard. <laughs> I can't cast my commander anymore. <laughs> I should have played the stasis. I know the feeling. All of this would have never happened if I just played stasis. You could just tabernacle now. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving up. I have to spend my next turn paying for the pack, though. Which is and not the good. And well, I don't really care about the Gilded Drake anymore. Oh, wow. Harsh. All that Gilded Drake has done for you is be loyal. It's, 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 well, not even, it's not even my Gilded Drake. It's Richard's. Why would I pay for Richard's Doesn't mean it doesn't Gilded matter. Drake. <laughs> that poor Gilded Drake. You're just like... So oh, if it, if it was that. my Gilded Drake, then, I, then I would, I'd then probably have to begrudgingly pay. But or do you win here, Krim? I, I keep thinking Krim is the one that's closest to yeah. just winning. I will see <laughs> if I can... Oh man. That sounds like a yes. I will, I, I <laughs> Unless will, he fumbles I through. Is what it means. Tabernacle is not as good as it was. Yeah, it doesn't even produce yeah. fire yeah, covenant. Yeah, it it's a free spell. It's a free spell. Oh. Oh. More mana. Well, that just gives him more mana with the fairy. Chain veil? Uh, first off. The chain veil combo is so not intuitive. I, I, it, it is not. You're right. I need to just look at one thing, though. Before I do anything, so you, so Seth, you have two cards. Richard, you have one, and then Vince, you have six. I have six entire cards in my hand. That is correct. <laughs> are we wheeling? I'd be down for a wheel. Whoa, 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 Who's whoa, whoa, whoa. At? All right, take he's check. He's taking a little peek at my hand. <laughs> the, the peaky blinder, the cheeky old minx. Well, we are, you, are you gonna counter the probe so he can't see what you got going on over wow, there? Wow, maybe he's unlocked my trap card. <laughs> <laughs> All right, windfall. Because <laughs> God toxic to reach. Okay, <laughs> read them on week, boys. All right, that's cool. Now that I know, coast is clear. So that fire covenant to stop Richard from winning that used up all the counter magic. Open the door. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna try here. Okay, we're just gonna try something. All right. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, you won. So there. Well, do, so you, do you have a win be... con? <laughs> Which what you do you mean, right? try? So, so the part we are missing about this combo is if you read Chain Veil, it says for each Planeswalker you control, you can activate one of its loyalty abilities this turn as though none were activated. So once Teferi dies, it comes back as a new object, and you still have the Chain Veil activation. Does that yeah. make sense at all? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, so it, Teferi what? itself is is the win condition. Because eventually, oh, you the fairy, as you go through the you loop, get, you're going to yeah. have multi... Yeah, it dies, it comes back, you make infinite mana, you draw your entire deck. Like, Teferi does everything. I was I was reading the primer after I lost <laughs> early last game. 
<laughs> oh wait, I need to, I need to undo uh, that. And then so this way it costs less. Okay. Oh boy. Overkill. So when you were saying you didn't have the You had infinite have, mana, have now you have infinitely more mana. <laughs> Yeah, you were saying you didn't have it, but you actually had it all. Oh yeah, I, I had. I, I said I had a tabernacle. I didn't draw. I didn't. I said my last two wheels were pretty bad. <laughs> you said your hands were full of last hands. Last time it was. A Sith never deals in absolutes. Does that count? Does that count? <laughs> That's fitting. That's fitting. I guess, Krim, you could say this is what we call pod racing. <laughs> That's it. I'm done now. People, people are probably wondering why as well. It's only because Krim did one, and I couldn't. I couldn't help myself. I just wanna. So you just draw your whole deck now. Is that? Well. Is that what happens? I don't think I can necessarily win. I have all the mana, right? Don't, no, but you you activate Chain Veil, float some mana, untap Chain Veil and mana, um, activate Fairy again to float loads of mana under again. Then you replay to Fairy, and you just keep going to your mana pool was what fifty. And then you activate them a couple times upwards. Oh wait, hang on. What? So you get infinite mana, right? And then after you have infinite mana, you just uh, you're gonna have to make some blue sources over there, by the way. And then yeah. you you recast the fairy, and then you just infinitely uptick him. But can he infinitely? Uptick because he has him infinite mana, to, right? But you have to uncheck the chain veil. How do you oh, untap the chain veil? Oh wait a minute. Oh, you tick up once, then you activate chain veil, tick down. Yeah. So untap chain so veil. there should you be up, two down. So you should be able to activate this Teferi at least twice, and maybe more times without using the Chain Veil now that it's a new object? Yep. Okay. That's, yeah. Oh, so each time the Chain Veil is activated, the new Teferi gets an activation per time it's been activated previously? Yeah, so those... Like those, a storm count. Yeah, it kind of stacks up when you get the new Teferi object. So you're getting, like, free activations out of it. And that's how you can tick up in between wow. and still make infinite mana. That's the part I didn't realize about the combo until reading the primer. Yeah. So you get like a chain veil count, a chain veil storm count for new walkers. Uh, basically, yeah. That's my that's that's what the primer made me believe at least. It's weirdly worded though, because you think a new walker coming in afterwards wouldn't have that buff. In the same way that if you cast overrun, then play like a, a goblin guy, the goblin guy doesn't have their overrun effect. Does that make sense? Yes. It's very unintuitive, the templating. It is, yeah. Not intuitive at all. Try, try right-clicking to fairy. Or not right-clicking, left-clicking. I'm trying to so see how many times I can activate. That's that's what I'm wondering. So his his art is replaced by you may activate this premise loyalty abilities more than once, and it's like filled the entire box. So you can count one, two, three, four. Four right now. If you just right-click, it'll, it'll tell you, it'll list that ability four times. Oh, okay. Okay, so one, two, three, four. All right, so we can do it. Maybe five, times. right? So you have one base and then these four extra ones. Sweet. <laughs> then I found my win condition. What is the win con? <laughs> oh. 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 Yes, that that will do it. Yep. There's there's the win condition I was looking for. And just well, like the new Teferi, yeah. Uin comes in with the ability to just shoot everyone <laughs> a million times. <laughs> Yep, so you can uh -huh. ultimate it, you can kill everyone with lightning bolts. This is going to take so long. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, you, you don't, you don't this... actually have to have to actually do it. <laughs> this is going to take so long. <laughs> okay, I don't have to do it, right? You guys believe me? Yeah, well, yes, yes. That's that's lethal on board. I don't think there's any way of fizzling from here. So good game, good game. Good game. <laughs> good game. <laughs> Nailed it. Ugh. <laughs> uh. I could not find a I could not find a, a combo piece. They just did not come together. So, well, let's talk about the decks. Those were some interesting games. Uh, let's start with Krim, since Krim, uh, you showed us your combo there in game number two. Uh, what did you think of the deck? Was there anything else uh, sweet that we should know about it? Fill us in. Honestly, that that was one of the coolest things. Uh, like it. it the only other sweet cards would be the fact that if, if I can't use my Ugin, I could also, with all the mana I'm making, use cards like, uh, what's the three mana X spell draw, uh, Stroke of Genius. I could also make it so that you just draw all your cards in your deck and, and then deck out as another way to like win the game. And I mean, I, I, may, I may be missing some other cute interactions, but so far it just seems like I'm making you draw all your cards or I'm in, all, it, like infinitely activating Ugin and Teferi. So <laughs> um, like that seems like about the only thing we're trying to do and just counter and protect the plan. 
Yeah, it's it's really scary because once you have Teferi down and your deck seems to have a lot of artifact based mana, it always feels like the next turn you could draw a Chain Veil or draw a War of Invention to find Chain Veil and just win out of nowhere. So there, it puts a lot of pressure on everyone else once you have the Teferi on the battlefield. Yeah, I mean the deck plays nineteen mana ro- or nineteen like ways to like kind of make mana. And uh, so I, I just always had a lot of mana. And I, if it weren't for all the wheeling, I actually just didn't have the chain veil like half the time. So <laughs> Yeah, it seemed like like Vince sort of incidentally helped you out by wheeling you through your deck in some of the games. Yeah. I mean, I had to do something because that second... I think I cast one spell game two, by the way, guys. One yeah. spell. So Vince... Yours was the deck that we got to see uh, probably do the least. I guess in game one, you kind of did your thing to some extent, but what were we missing out on? What else uh, could your deck do if you got a little bit faster of draws? So the deck's got, like, fast mana, and not only in like, the mana box that we said, so, like, Mana Crypt, Mox Diamond, Soul Ring, Is It Signet, Demir Signet, Thought Vessel, so on and so forth. It's also got, like, Dark Ritual, Cabal Ritual, Simeon Spirit Guide. I cut the petal, but I probably should have kept it in. So the whole idea was to go as fast as possible, to just basically land a Nekusar, a Fateful Visions, a Spiteful Visions, or a Psychosis Crawler, or a Niv Visit, and then start wheeling the table. Um, I... I didn't go as competitive as perhaps uh, people expected because I even played a Locust God just because I haven't got to play with it yet and people were playing it in Nekasar builds but I don't think it sees that much play in the competitive version so I'm sure someone will tell me my deck wasn't competitive enough but meh, I don't care I, w- I want to try and make a load of uh, Locust off the Locust God but yeah, mainly it's wheels targeted draws like Blue Sun Zenith if I get enough mana uh, Mind Over Matter was in there to combo with niv or Temple Bell to draw everyone's decks or kill everyone, machine gun everyone and then, yeah, wheels and the other bit that I was going to mention was... No, that was it. It's just wheels, really. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was it. Freesis. I had I had Infect kill in the deck as well. <laughs> so um, you stick the enchantment on either Niv Mizzet or on Nekusar, cast a wheel, uh, you know, draw ten, seven to ten cards and just kill everyone with Infect. That seems uh, like a good way to speed up the process. Like, if someone's at 40 life, uh, only going to take 10 draws to kill them with Infect. That's sweet. Exactly. The deck has, like, um, has all of the like, the big black shooters. You've got Demonic, uh, Vampiric, um, Imperial Seal, etc. So you can do you can kill them that way. The other other win con, I think, was just, like, the enchantments like Fever Visions. There's Phyrexian Tyranny, and there is uh, Blood Chief Ascension. So as people were discarding cards to the graveyard, they start getting hit as well. Um, but I had that. I had that in game two, like turn one. I could have played a Blood Chief Ascension, but I knew if I played it, he'd all just start attacking me. So I was like, "Well, I can't play it." So I just sat there doing nothing for ages because I only had. Well, I had no mana box. But no, the deck's fun. Like everyone knows what Nekasar does. Maybe I phoned it in a little this week. Where I just sat and watched you guys play mainly. But um, you- yeah, he probably deserves a better showing than I gave him. Bless him. Did it? Did it uh, play to Fairy's Puzzle Box? I just got to ask. I, that was my last EDH deck, Nekusar. Yeah. So I, I loved Fairy's so Puzzle Box. I was trying to find a slot for it, but I ended up like because I put a Damnation in on top of the Toxic Deluge to give me a bit more interaction and one copy. Oh, that's what's missing from the deck. Terminate. Because I put a Terminate in so that I could just clutch Tutor for it to kill like a combo piece if I needed to. Oh. Um, just one bit of target removal. So that they were the ones that took over from Terra Puzzle Box. But I wanted to play the Puzzle Box because I'd beaten Seth in a 1v1 video with Puzzle Box a little while ago. <laughs> yes, so yes, I wanted to beat him again. I <laughs> Absolutely wrecked him. Uh, yeah, that one was not even close when we did the Brewers battle. Oh, you stopped me with Fairy's Puzzle Box. Yeah. And I've got Notion Thief in here as well, obviously. That's the, other, the, the big, the haymaker, the big player, you know? Yeah, that's that's a good time. I'm glad you didn't draw that one. <laughs> <laughs> at one point, I actually, I think I scrolled it to the bottom of my deck because I was still looking for mana at one point. But there you go. Uh, well, yeah, it looked it looked fun. Uh, really fun commander. The card draw, the wheeling game plan, always a, a fan favorite. Well, Richard, we got to see your deck uh, kind of do its thing in game one, and then almost, I think, how close were you to winning in game number two? It felt like you were maybe a turn away if your board didn't get wrath. Uh, were you to the point of winning there? Yeah, I mean, this deck is really strong. Basically, every match, every turn, it felt like I was going to win. And what happened would be an untimely wheel. You guys would wheel away the hand I was setting up, or you know, you would remove my creatures or things like that. But the combo is so easy to set up. Because all you need is Najila, and you need one other combo piece, and the rest of the deck is counter spells and tutors and hate cards. So you can always find what you need. So it's actually really strong. And if you don't assemble your combo, you saw you can just chip away with warriors and eventually like two or three attacks later you have a fearsome board just from your three mana cost commander 
Uh, and the deck is five colors, so you can actually tune it however you like. Like, uh, I have Null Rod in here. I have Rest in Peace. Oh. So uh, there, there was, I think in game one, I, I was going to Null Rod you all into Oblivion. <laughs> and under Back to Basics and Null Rod, it would have been hilarious. But uh, it got wheeled away, I think. <laughs> but... <laughs> Uh, it just plays a lot of mana dorks and the mana dorks help accelerate you and then they work with your combo with Najila. they're not warriors but the other uh, mana makers and the rest of the cards are just interaction counter spells and tutors so it actually is a really solid deck and I, I really like it yeah every time I see Najila, it, it looks really impressive and today was no different you uh, definitely made it look scary and it was another one of those decks I mean I guess maybe that's competitive VDH. I feel like I said that about Crim's deck. Finn's deck, I think, is the same way, although he didn't have his fast mana. But in competitive VDH, it really feels like someone can win. Almost anyone can win at any position. And I think that's the story of my deck as well. I, I just didn't draw my pieces. I... For most of both of our games, I had the Mist Hollow Griffin or something in Exile to combo with. I had my commander, which is combo piece number two. I just needed to find and resolve the food chain, and I just did not find a tutor. I had Nauseam to game one for like 15 cards, did not find a tutor or a food chain. So, and I have, uh, like you were saying, basically every tutor in my deck, and that's basically my deck as well. Some counter spells and ways to protect the combo, and just infinite tutors and ways to get uh, pieces back from the graveyard like regrowth type effects if you happen to get your food chain killed or whatever so uh, yeah I think my deck is really strong uh, I'm a little disappointed I never assembled the combo but that's the the variance of 100 card decks like sometimes even with like 10 tutors in your deck or whatever you just don't happen to draw one and uh, it doesn't come together I guess if there's a downside unlike Najila uh, my deck is not going to beat you fairly uh, I think my only creatures are mana dorks and then combo pieces like Mist Hollow Griven and Eternal Scourge and Squee the Immortal. So there's no backup plan or way to kill people without the combo. And I guess that's what you saw in this game. I just didn't draw the final combo piece. And then the deck is just kind of like spinning its wheels, countering some stuff, but not really making any progress until the food chain comes out. So it still seems fun. And if we do another uh, CEDH week, might try it again, just because food chain seems like a really fun and powerful combo. Anyway, I think that brings us to the end for today. So thanks to everyone for hanging out and playing. Thanks to everyone for watching. And uh, yeah, we will be back next week with another one. So until then, this is the crew signing out. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up with the latest and greatest, click on the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to check out similar videos, click on the links here and here.